Hey, welcome back everyone, Toys is here, and I am back yet again for yet another NECA Toys Disney's Gargoyles video. And today, I am very excited because we have the final member of our original clan, a little Donatello himself, Lexington. The ultimate action figure with some gorgeous artwork on the front of the box, I might add. Now, in typical NECA fashion, you got the little flappy that opens up, so you get a nice photo of Lexington, and you get to see everything that the figure comes with, all the accessories, as well as equally awesome photos of said figure all over the box, including the backside, which gives you a little bit of a write-up, so you can read all about the gargoyles, and you get to see the articulation on display, the accessories... You get the idea. Along with all the other characters you can purchase now, except for the Detective Broadway, he's not out just yet. Here's everyone involved with the creation of this figure, so thank you very much for that. As well as the barcode, he's starting to hit Target store shelves now, for those of you out there a-looking. So, this is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Nekatoys Disney's Gargoyles line. The one, the only, the brains of the outfit, Lexington. And while I got all you defenders of the night here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my YouTube vids. And if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. You get the idea by now, yada yada. So he comes with a ton of extra hands. You have metal ripping hands. And I originally thought this was a finger pointing hand, but it's for his crossbow. All the fingernails are painted well. He's got a nice Lexington green shade to him. Yeah, they nailed the hands on this one, including the accessories. Now, this particular headset comes from the episode Legion. It has to do with Coldstone and whatnot, so it's a nice little tie-in for when Coldstone arrives. But it's a nice headset, which is perfect for the character of Lexington, right? So you get this extra head portrait as well, growling, snarling. His eyes have gone completely white. That's, again, a perfect accessory for Lexington and one that fits with the rest of the gargoyles. Now, this accessory, right, comes from the episode The Edge. And I really do think that it should have come with the remote control car that he had as well. That would have just kind of tied everything together and, again, been more of a technical gadgetry kind of thing that fits Lexington. But the remote control is fine. Go really easy with the long antenna. If you hit it wrong, that's going to snap off and break. But this right here is a nice nod. And much like his Rookery Brothers, he comes with the original Kenner accessory, which is this really cool crossbow. And they've really knocked this out of the park. It has real metal chains on it. It has this beautiful handle piece, which looks like wood. That's awesome. Nice metallic look to it. They just nailed it. This is beautiful. Now, you do get some arrows to load into it, which is pretty cool to see. It's a little bit different, again, from the original Kenner figure, but it's as simple as such. You just get one of the arrows, and you slip it right in there. Now, you can't pull the arrow out through the other side unless you really kind of force it, and I really would not recommend that, but it's kind of nice because the arrow stops right there so nothing is going to be spring-loaded nothing's going to be firing out it's just mainly for display posing taking photos you get the idea and remember there are four arrows they're very teeny tiny don't go a losing them and speaking of teeny tiny you got the little lexington guy and he's a great size this is lexington through and through and i was so interested to see how they were going to do his very interesting wings, right? He doesn't have those typical gargoyle wings that fold over. Now, I will tell you this. He's a little bit difficult to move around at first. You kind of have to figure it out. Don't go pulling anything. Don't move anything too quick. I didn't have to heat anything up, but I have heard people say, oh, I moved this, it broke off, and yada, yada. Nothing happened like that on mine, so just go very easy when you first get this figure but again if you want to heat them up it's always a welcome thing right now with the arms they will go straight up and as you can see the attachment of the wings start at the forearm at his back and then lower parts of his thigh so you do not remove the wings on this lexington figure he just has very 
foldy, flappy wings. They don't have a ton of give, if I'm being honest, but it's enough to get him in the poses, such as flying, right? That looks pretty cool. The back part of his wings are articulated, but I'll tell you, they're not as movable as you would kind of want them to be. Basically, with the arms, the legs, it's moving separate pieces every time that you want to pose him out. And that's why I said, take your time, kind of learn the articulation for this guy, because it's very interesting, and how they even go about this is mind-blowing to me, so I think they've definitely achieved it. I wish the wings itself maybe were a little bit more gummy to kind of move them around better, because as time goes on, I don't know how well they're going to hold up. Perhaps they will, right? Time will tell, but again, in moving the knees, the legs, which he does have double-jointed knee to him, but just go slow, like I always say. You have the feet, you have the toes, bendy wire tail. He's a very teeny tiny gargoyle, but he does not have peg holes for whatever reason on the bottom of his feet. But again, the color, the paint, the belt, the look, they've captured Lexington from the cartoon. And for that, I'm very stoked. But as I'll tell you, through and through, over and over again, just when you first get this figure and you start posing him out, take your time. And that's all I can tell you on that because he really is a very cool looking figure complete with a little bit of an ab crunch a little bit of a waist swivel you get the idea and you got plenty of articulation in the head so when you want to get him looking up and flying you can even pose him out maybe give him a flying stand you get the idea but overall it's a very interesting figure and I'm very happy with it and like I said when you have figured out the posing you can swap the heads and get him all the snarling and white eyes you get the idea that looks pretty cool the accessories really bring these characters to life and you can have fun with the headset you can have fun with the remote control perhaps he takes over a steel clan robots sky's the limit right you can pose him doing everything but again those accessories are nice for a character like lexington and if you're wondering if the headset can fit other characters yeah lisa no you could kind of say brooklyn does but hudson he's just not looking too happy there for Lexington. But what does bring a smile to my face? Even though I did not collect these back in the day, but if you look at the original Kenner line of gargoyles, especially these three, with the weapons that NECA has provided with each of them, that's a nice recreation. And I totally appreciate what they have done here. Of all the accessories that you could give, this is a really nice retro nod to the past. And I absolutely love it. These weapons, these accessories really do bring these characters to life in a much different way from the show. And I just love the way they look. And now we're just waiting on that new Broadway to get his folded wings. Now, in terms of heights, you can pair Lexington with Demona. Check out those folded wings. More on that coming up in the next video. However, this is the clan right here. And that... After all the collecting and all the huge giant wings and waiting for the folded wings, it's so satisfying, right? So you have Bronx, the little mini dog gargoyle. You have Hudson. We're still waiting on his wings. Rumor is he'll come with Macbeth. Eh, wink. But all the other gargoyles, it just looks fantastic. But you have to have Angela in there, right? And then you also have to have Elisa Maza. And that, to me, combining all the episodes, all the seasons of the Gargoyles animated television show, that just looks picture perfect right there. Fantastic. So, that will wrap it up for my look at the brand new NECA Toys Disney's Gargoyles Lexington, the ultimate action figure. And I gotta tell ya, it's a lot of fun to have now put together the entire cast of Gargoyles. Yes, we are still waiting on multiple closed wings, right? Angela, Hudson, and of course, Broadway. Those are coming soon. And if you wanted to stop, though, you could have just the gargoyles. But now they're really getting in to some deep cuts. You got Cold Stone. You have Macbeth. I want to see them do more. I'm having a lot of fun once we kind of got this going, right? We had the big bulbous wings, and now we got the folded wings, and now we're starting to complete our collections. So this is really starting to take off, and I'm excited to see where they go with this line in the future. But in the meantime, you've heard my thoughts, 
And now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything. Z I mean, Lexington. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, I cannot wait for Coldstone and Macbeth. Man, those are going to be fantastic. And when they are, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. We'll